What is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at large. Today we are in the Hyde Park section of Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm here to talk about the unsolved murder of Mary Susan Carter. August 16th, 1980, you have 21 year old Mary Susan Carter along with her four year old son and two year old daughter. They had just moved to this area. I believe at the time she rented some kind of a basement apartment. She was estranged from her husband at the time. And on that day, she was taking her kids to their grandparents' home, but they did not live in this area and she did not have a car. So this is the corner of Madison Road and Vista Avenue. She was seen at around 11.30 or 11.45 a.m. on this very street corner. She was waiting for the bus at that bus stop right there. The bus, bus pulled up alongside of her. She says, hey, do you go to such and such section where the grandparents live? The bus driver said no. Now, there's no internet. There's no cell phones back in those days. She has two kids with her. She doesn't know how to get to that section of town. According to eyewitnesses, a white male but in his mid to late 20s maybe early 30s pulled up alongside of here in a 1976 1977 ford pickup truck painted midnight blue with the white stripe kind of like the one i'm showing you on the screen right now he pulls up alongside of this road right here and offers her a ride normally mary wouldn't have taken that ride but for some unknown reason on that day, she did. So her, with her two kids in tow, they jumped into the stranger's pickup truck and left the area. 1.45 p.m. on that same day, a woman is outside of her house on the 1000 block of Eastern. And she sees two little kids just kind of roaming around her neighborhood. And she's looking at them and she's looking around. She doesn't see their mom or dad. She goes up to them and she says, where's your mommy and daddy? And the two-year-old can't really talk, but the four-year-old, he says, mommy's sleeping in the grass. And she thought that was weird. So she took them inside her house uh, and then took them down to the fire department because she didn't know what to do with them. So... She brings him to the fire department and one of the firefighters looks at the boy and he says, where's your mom and dad? And he repeats the same thing. My mommy's sleeping in the grass. Not too long after they arrived at the fire department, there was a call on the radio for a paramedic. A body's just been located of a woman found in a wooded area. It would look something like this. She was found face down and she was dead. That woman, unfortunately, was Mary Susan Carter. They took her body to the coroner's office for an autopsy and uh, she had been killed by a ligature strangulation. Later on, Mary's estranged husband was cleared of this crime. At the time of her murder, he was living several hundred miles away in the Smoky Mountain region, I believe in Tennessee. And this poor woman's unsolved murder is pretty much just like any other unsolved murder, not comparing it to any, because each one is individually painful for the family that are involved and that were affected. But I'm just saying it's just like many other unsolved murders where sometimes they get a lot of recognition, sometimes they don't. And several factors do play in when it comes to if an unsolved murder does get a lot of attention. And sadly, a lot of times it comes down to gender, race, and age. That's just the truth. Can you imagine? It's the middle of August, summer. Ohio. Sometimes, man, 
days out here in the summertime, sometimes it can be very, very nice. Sometimes it can be brutal, like in the 90s. So you can imagine on that day, this poor young lady has no, she has no car. It's hot, it's humid. Some of you out that you know, live in Ohio, you know what I'm talking about. And the bus doesn't go to her, the destination that she needs to go to. And she has these two kids and maybe one of them is saying, mommy, I'm hot, mommy, I'm hot. And this guy offers her a ride and he looks nice enough. And she takes that ride little, little does she know that that ride would be her last. And to have to kill a woman in front of two little children it's just a disgusting human being. And I only hope that those children don't remember what they've seen. I hope they didn't see that. Because that's just, uh, honestly, something terrible and awful. Over 40 years ago, over 40 years ago, those two children were standing at their mommy's grave right here, watching mommy sleeping in a casket being lowered into the ground and maybe they didn't know what was going on. Maybe they didn't know what was going on. Maybe they thought mommy was gonna wake up tomorrow. All because she took a ride from somebody that she didn't know. Something awful and terrible and you know when I when I read this story I, I there was you know I, I had to do it because I just the thought that somebody out there got away with this murder really pisses me off and on top of that this case just not getting a lot of you know, just not getting a lot of uh, play uh, in any, you know, many articles. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I have this channel, because I like talking about uh, crimes, unsolved murders, uh, especially when they, I feel they're not getting a lot of attention. And those, those two children and the rest of Mary's family, they deserve some kind of justice, even if it's so many years later, and even if the perpetrator is more than likely either in prison or dead, but there is a chance he's still alive. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Rest in peace to Mary Susan Carter.